Hi everyone, this is Jalisa from Listen Studios. Today I'm showing you how I put together my September sketch. Right now I'm just dubbing in some white gesso with a dabber on the jewel frame. In the corner I cut out from the rose frame a little piece from some trinkets and also the lace rounds. I'm using a dabber for more even coverage and also for a little bit of texture. So right now I'm applying some Distress Crackle Paint in Brush Pewter over some parts of the jeweled frame. Just remember that the thicker you apply, the longer it takes for the paint to dry, so that's why I'm working on this first. Now the next piece I'm working on is the lace rounds. I'm using textures in Tidy Whitey from Shimmers and applying it randomly over the chipboard. This has a longer drying time compared to other texture paste, so I'm going to put it aside and let it dry. Now I'm coloring the flowers on my chipboard with liquid pearls and daffodil. The reason why I'm using such a bright yellow is because I want to highlight the color in my pattern paper, which I'm going to use later. And these are the Susan Stream and Shen Stream from the Bluefin Studios on the Dreams collection. There's also a bit of orange as well in those papers, so I'm going to use liquid pearls in cantaloupe to just Take a little border around the flowers and just remember that liquid pearls has a bit of a drying time so start work on this early as well. As for the rest of the flowers and the little bowl on the draw frame, I'm using textures from shimmers in patina to color them. There's a bit of a mint green in Susan's Stream, so I'm using this to echo the color in my pattern paper. For the lace round, I'm just taking some chalk ink and pastel green and lightly going over the surface. And to color the rest of my chipboard, I'm using Twinkling H2O's and Sweet Alfalfa. And just by varying the amount of water, you can change the shade of the color that you're adding. And this gives a bit more dimension to your chipboard. on my background paper right now and I'm applying some clear gesso over the Susan Stream paper from the Umber Dreams collection. This helps to seal and protect the base layer while you add on your different paints and mediums. So I'm adding on some uh, color in Icy Primrose from Lindy Stemgen's Color Shorts. Instead of um, just splashing the color all over, I'm just doing a bit of a shading in the places where I'm going to put my chipboards and where my main cluster will be. A little bit of green in uh, Distress Paint Bundle Sage and I'm going to just use some water to blend the two colors together. So now I'm doing some stamping with the new Prima stamps from the Epiphany Collection.
as well as a random stamping with grey chalk ink all over my cluster. And more random stamping using a dragonfly stamp. I'm just going to stamp on the parts with the swirls and bits of the wing so that you get a level random bits everywhere and lastly a little bit of texture with a texture stamp and this is in uh, turquoise green now I'm just mixing some magicals from the new Stank Gangs and Purple Teal with some soft 3D gel and I'm going to run them over the uh, stencil right here I just use it as a frame again for my cluster and the reason why I'm using a purple which seems to be pretty off is that there are actually little bits of the color in the flowers on the pattern paper itself. Now I'm creating some layers for my photo mat and I'm using papers from the dream cards paper also from Mamba Dreams and I'm just distressing the edges and layering them all together. Clusters, and I'm tucking in shipboards as I go along. This helps to create a three-dimensional feel to the page and definitely adds a lot of interest. So it's okay to move things around as you work, which is why um, I usually like to use a slower drying glue because then I don't need to tear off any bits of my paper when I'm moving things around. So now just inking and distressing the sides with some distress ink to give a little bit more definition to my page. I'm distressing the edges as well before I lay it onto the Shannon's Dream paper on my backing. Now I'm just putting on the rest of the embellishments, some cheesecloth and primo flowers. some sugar and some extra boards and to highlight the flowers as well. I'm using golden fluid acrylics in Elizabeth and Coral and I'm using silver because that's the colour of my cat's coat and she's the one in the photo. Now I'm just finishing up the corner where we're supposed to put our title on the sketch and I'm going to use a piece from the dream card from the Ombre Dreams collection and it's got a fitting title which says Sweet Dreams. Finishing up the last bits of um, the layout with some embellishments and some further shading in purple around my cluster and that's all I've got for you today and thank you for joining me on the Bluefin Studios YouTube channel remember to subscribe to us for more updates on the videos and do remember to drop by our blog as well at bluefinstudios.blogspot.com for more inspiration from the design team thank you for watching